Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to import a video file from an iPhone. This would also apply to an audio file or a different type of smartphone. I'm using Final Cut Pro X, but this would also apply to iMovie. So before we can import our file and work on our project, we need to create a library. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to File, New, Library, and then you give it a name. Let's just call this media. Now I've got a library over here and you can open multiple libraries and pull files from them. But this is where the file will reside on my computer once it's imported. Right now it's still in my phone. So I need to go import media. So I can click on this or hit Apple I. Gives me a list. This is my camera up here. And of course I can also import from other devices hard drives and, and FaceTime camera if I want to do live capture. I go down here and this is my file I want to import. If you don't see the file you created, I would recommend hitting the content created column and that will give you your newest, uh, it toggles between newest first and oldest first, but if you hit that you should have your newest files first and then if you still can't find it, you can hit file type and scroll to your QuickTime movies or your audio files because as many of us have, I have a lot of JPEG images as well. So you can import your JPEGs, you can import your movies, you can import any kind of media pretty much into your video project. Once you find your movie, highlight it and click import selected. You have some other choices here like close window after starting import, copy to library, which I recommend. Um, there's some things down here that will do automatically if you want it. You can also have, you also have the option of creating a new event in the media library, in your, in your library, and you can name it there, or you can just say add to existing event. So let's just, let's just make it simple and hit import selected. And now you see here, this little progress window or circle. And that's showing that little clock that's moving around is showing me the progress of the media being imported because it's coming from my phone. I guess it's a little bit slow, but it's going into this September 30th, 2017 folder. And once it's imported, it will show up in there. And this will be what we call an asset, a media asset. And usually a project will be comprised of many assets, right? Images, video files, and audio files are usually what comprise a project. So there is our file, it's been imported. And now I can scroll through it, look through it like this, looks pretty good. And then I hit new project to start editing. And I can call this mic pad also gives me lots of options here. I'm just going to leave these all set. And this is my project up here in my browser window. And it also appears down here and it's named right here. Now I can highlight my clip. I can drag it into the project window and then I can edit it. And all I'm going to do in this case, I think this looks pretty good. I don't think I need to do much here. Uh, let's zoom in and give it a listen. Hey folks, so I'm in my studio and I wanted to show you quickly what a pad is and what a roll off is. Okay, so I don't think I have to do much here. I'm just going to make this really quick. I'm going to go to video effects and I'm going to put a transition over here, yes, that's where my effects are. Transitions, I'll put a little transition in the front. Hey folks, so, and I will do the same in the back. Cro good old cross dissolve. We'll make it a little bit longer, or we'll make it a, a second. And then for the audio, this audio is pretty good. If you look at the levels here, actually, let's make these bigger. So I'm in my studio and I wanted to show you quickly what a pad is and what a roll off is. So you, if you look over here, 
you can see the lows and highs. This is looking pretty good, but a roll off is. So uh, as you can see up here, we've got the power button on this. This is a road. But what I like to do is just give it that extra little kick all the way up to zero. So I'm just gonna put a final plug on this, which is a compressor limiter. And I'm gonna select a preset called CD Mastering. And before I do that, watch this area down here. There we go. Actually, watch over here too. If I turn this off and on, off, and on so you see what happens to the audio now when i play this it's going to be hitting zero over here and well road video mic i'm not sure it's pro <laughs> uh, this line this straight line is it means that there's it's everything's flat in the mic so what that means is yeah so now if you look at the levels here everything is really boost it up. It didn't really need that. I think it was a pretty good capture level, but there we go. And now that's it for this video. That's, that's all I needed to do. Just a quick little video on what a roll off is and what a, a mic microphone pad is. So I'm ready to publish this. So I can either go to, uh, I can go to share and I can either do a master file, which would put it on my computer or what I like to do is go straight to YouTube. So I can, I've already set these up. And if you have a YouTube account, you can just link it to your video editing software. So let's just do that. I go to my YouTube, this, this is, these are my settings. I'll do tags later, but the settings are here. Uh, I'm gonna leave this unlisted, but you can make it private or public. If it's for a course like this is, I just usually leave it unlisted. And then that's it. Hit next and that will publish to YouTube. If I want to see progress, I can go to, I can press Apple nine and it gives me this little window that I can, I can use to see the progress. So that's what we have. That's how to uh, import and lightly edit and publish a video to your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.